This is how I made this PCB design waterproof. So Nanoflow X sent me a test kit for their V2 formula to hopefully make some of my PCB designs waterproof. Let's see how it works. Now this is the PCB design we'll be testing. This is my latest design for an upcoming YouTube series, so make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss anything. But I think it'll be a good challenge with the screw terminals, the Arduino Nano, and then the control circuitry here. So as per the instructions, we'll place it down in this very nicely provided glass dish. Pour the solution over it. Oh, barely enough to cover it. Leave it for five seconds and then we tilt it at a 45 degree angle for five seconds. Then place it on a surface for curing. Now, curing is five minutes either with a heat gun with 80 degree C or in a reflow oven. All right, the board's finished curing. I have 12 volt power and the waterproof LEDs hooked up. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Would you look at that? The LEDs are still working. I'll admit I've never used anything like this before, so I'm pretty impressed. I'll make sure to leave a link to the Nano Flow X product I use in the description below.